<laughs> That's it. Go play. This way, they tire themselves out. They just grab all of each other's faces. Spike is trying to get back to me. Walk with me. Come on. Walk with me. Come on. Sorry about the camera work, folks. Hey, hey, hey. Walk with me. Come on. Walk with me. There you go. Walk with me. There, yes. Uncle boy, good girl. And stop. Oh, good girl. Good boy. Yes. There you go. There you go. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it's really hard to do the camera work and do the training. But they are making a lot of progress. Saddle. I'm trying to also teach them settle, which is just chill, you know? Settle. Good boy, good girl. Settle. Yes, settle. Just chill. Be patient. That's it. Hey, this portion of the program is brought to you by my old man sunglasses. And another proponent of old man sunglasses is my mentor, Greg Judy. And he and I agree on many, many things. We, I think we agree on this, although this is a situation that he necessarily might not encounter in his operation. And that is, he has, I don't know, hundreds of sheep and he's got maybe a dozen livestock guardian dogs and they're, they're pretty much tame enough to come and say hello to him. But that's, that's it. They do their own thing. There's no training. There's no, you know, come sit, stay kind of stuff. And that's totally appropriate for his farm. And maybe that will be said of my farm at some point. But in this particular instance, I'm starting very small and I'm on a farm that's kind of shared by a community of people. So these dogs have to be able to be controlled. And I have to be able to have somebody come and uh, cover for me if I have to be away or if I have something pressing going on in my life with my dad. So they have to have some manners. They have to have the ability to come when they're called, sit and stay, and recognize that the people on the farm are not coyotes, right? The, they are friends. This boy. Look at this boy. Hi. Oh, my spike. Oh, my spike. Yeah. That's Luna. <laughs> hey, Luna. Hi. And the thing is, Greg, you know, warns people, and he's right, that you can ruin a dog by making them too much your pets. So I'm trying to walk this line between giving them the kind of attention that will work towards them fitting well on the farm and towards making sure that, let's say, Corey's wife walks by, she doesn't feel scared of the dogs, right? And so I have to work with them first and then I'll introduce them to the people in situations where I can teach them how to behave and then we'll drill that but right now we're simply getting the basics going and um so far they look very good near the sheep they just like oh sheep they don't they don't look at them they just notice them and go okay they're okay so i think i think we're doing well i think there's a lot of hope and promise and they certainly are aware and alert. There they go. Okay, go. Okay. Spike, okay. Go get him. Okay. Go get him. It's okay. Go, go play. Luna, come. Good girl, sit. 
Oh, she sat right away. There you go. The other thing that I've noticed about these dogs is they have gentle mouths just like Labrador Retrievers. So, if they're not, if you're not a coyote. <laughs> uh, Luna did kind of get in uh, Spike's food space and that was not pretty. They kind of had a, a real, an actual fight and it was not pretty. These, these dogs could certainly handle a bear. I'm, I'm sure of it. So anyway, that's the update for starting a farm from scratch. It's training livestock guardian dogs and training ourselves to be better livestock guardian dog stewards and to make sure that we as their leaders are setting them, setting them up for success. That's the big thing. How can I set these dogs up for success? And how can I make sure that the sheep are set up for success as well? And so that the dogs aren't suddenly thrust upon them, which would panic them. So yeah, anyway, this has been five minutes, starting a farm from scratch, healing pastures. It's not just a farm people, this is church. This is church to me. And uh, thanks for sharing it. Peace, love, grooviness, over and out, boom.